Hey guys, Mr. Zary here, and today I want to take us on a little journey. Uh, we're going to start in the desert. So imagine you're walking on the warm sand of a beautiful desert, and you're mid-stride when all of a sudden a rattlesnake appears out of the sand right in front of you, rattling its tail. Okay, so luckily it warned us of its presence. But see, this, this snake matched its environment almost perfectly, right? Making it very hard to see. The ability for animals to blend in is what helps many of them catch prey. And for others, it helps avoid being eaten by predators. So I want you to keep that idea of camouflage in mind. And we're going to go on another trip. At this time, we're going to Europe in the early to mid-1800s. See, during the 1800s, Europe and America experienced what's known as the Industrial Revolution. It was a time of change in manufacturing processes that led to the building of factories. This enabled humans to make many more things much faster. One of the new fuel sources that was heavily used during this time was coal. Because small amounts of coal can produce large amounts of heat. Coal was used for heating homes and cooking, and it basically became the main energy source in these factories. However, as we know, burning coal releases large amounts of smoke and smog into the surrounding environment. So this burning of coal left a layer of black soot on all the trees that were around. So these trees were once lighter colored trees, and now they were darker from this smog and this smut. So the Industrial Revolution, it had an effect on the trees, but it also had an effect on animals and insects that relied on those trees for various things. And something very interesting happened to the peppered moth. And I wanna talk to you guys a little bit more about that. Um, so there were two different types of peppered moths. Okay, so there's dark peppered moths and there's light peppered moths. And before the Industrial Revolution, it was the light peppered moth that was the most common. Um, and the dark peppered moths were really rare. Okay, uh, like many moths in the forest, the peppered moth tends to rest on tree trunks during the day. So the light moths blended in with the light colored trees. This is all pre-industrial revolution but however the industrial revolution changed the tree colors right because remember all that smog and smut that was in the air from burning all the coal well the trees were darkened and now these light colored moths were much easier to see right? they stood out while resting on these dark newly darkened trees and so those white those light colored moths were now eaten by birds more and more, while those rare dark colored moths, they blended right into the darker trees. And so this made the dark colored moths have a much higher survival rate. So they lived longer and they reproduced more and they passed on their dark colored genes to their offspring. And so by the 1900s, the peppered moth population in areas around English cities were as much as 98% dark moths. Okay, so this peppered moth case is an example of natural selection. Okay, so in this case, changes in the environment cause changes in the characteristics of the moths that were most beneficial for survival. The individuals that were well adapted to the new conditions survived and were more likely to reproduce. That's it, guys. Thank you.